is Wendy up there. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Tyler here from Tyler's Time Tunes and More. Today, I have something special for you guys. Gardening season is coming to its end. Yes, I know that. Farmers are starting to clean up their crops and all this other stuff. And, and they're starting to sell those pumpkins at the farmer's market. Farmers are getting ready for families to take home their crops and eat them for a nice meal. But for me, I never stop gardening. In fact, I garden year round. And I'm saying this not just because mm, the place where I live is warm, which it is not in the winter time. And I'm not saying that my plants are magical so I can grow them in the winter time. I'm saying that I have an indoor garden. So, to be precise, you could grow year-round too. And believe me, I only have a few things on in my indoor garden, so I'm doing an experiment. What if I can get something to grow and produce in the winter time and make it grow successfully just like it does in the spring and summer? So, I got a tomato. This tomato is really big. Here's a hand comparison. It's pretty big, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the seeds out of these tomatoes and grow a tomato plant indoors. But first, I have to get some soil and I need something to plant my tomato seeds in. If you wanna grow tomatoes in your indoor garden or you can start an indoor garden, please follow along. And don't forget, if you need to catch up, make sure you pause the video. First of all, you'll need something to plant your seeds in, like a cup. I'm using a plastic cup. This is what I usually use. They work really good. Next, you're obviously gonna need a tomato or any kind of other fruit, vegetable, or whatever that you wanna plant. Next, you'll need some soil. If you need to, you can go to the supermarket and buy some soil. Luckily, I don't have to. I can get my soil for free because I still have a garden growing and it still has soil, so perfect. I have a spoon and I'm ready to start digging. Let's go out to the garden. It is windy out there. Let's go. Okay, I'm out. Oh my, it's pretty windy out. Oh no, the fence is falling down. That's a new fence. Oh my cookies. I haven't checked the garden in a while since I've been on a vacation. I see some of my tomatoes already. Let's grab this one. Oh. Come on, come off. Perfect. I have my last pumpkin vine of the year. I've got a pumpkin growing as we speak. All right, let's get to the real stuff. Let me put him right here. I also have a bell pepper. Let's find a nice place to dig. Let's try right here. All right, now I'm gonna put my cup right here. And I'm gonna start to dig. Oh. Take some of those roots out. Oh, we don't want roots. We want soil, right? Perfect. I've got everything in here. I got my tomato, my bell pepper, and my soil. I'm all ready. Let's hope nothing's living in the soil. Putting the soil in, fresh from my garden. I mixed it around, and I really hope nothing's living in it. Now, I have a plate here, and I'm gonna put my tomato on the plate. This is a special kind of tomato. As you can see, it's very plump. So when it grows and produces, I'm gonna have some really plump tomatoes. If you're a kid like me, and you're using a knife to cut, please ask your parents for permission, and they will help you. All right, let's cut this up. The seeds are inside of this tomato. First cut. Let's 
cutting through. Oh, it's so juicy. There you go. Perfect. Look at all those seeds. Wow. So many seeds. All right. First set of tomato seeds. I'm taking a spoon and I'm going to poke a small hole. And I'm going to put the tomato stuff in. And then I'm just going to lightly cover it up as best as I can. Perfect. Second set of tomatoes. Again, I'm going to poke a hole. I'm going to put the tomato cookie in with all the seeds. And then you just lightly cover it up. So then it stays under there. Alright. And if you need to, you can always add more soil. It's okay. Perfect. Alright, we have our seeds nice and ready. Now what we're going to do is we're going to lightly spray our tomatoes. We don't want to put... Um, a cup of water in because it might drown the plant so we're lightly going to spray it to make sure the soil is nice and damp. If you don't know what that means, that means it's a little wet. Don't want to spray too much on there. Perfect. Now all you have to do is water it whenever the soil is dry and put it in a nice place for it where it can get some sun. For example, I keep my indoor plants on my windowsill. So in the morning, it gets some nice sun until the sun comes up and it reaches the top of the sky in the afternoon. It gets plenty and plenty of sun. Perfect spot. Now a coincidence is that you have your tomatoes, but you don't know what to do with them. You can use them for cooking uses, or if you don't really like any kind of sauce or you don't like tomatoes, make a compost area. I have a video about that on my channel about composting. I have a compost area myself. So don't throw away anything that you're using to grow and you've already put your seeds in. That's called wasting food. Composting isn't wasting. If you throw tomatoes or any kind of other fruit or vegetable or plant in compost, it will decompose and the nutrients from that plant will be released into the air again and help your environment grow better. So, easy as that. This is my composting area. See, I put all of my dead tomatoes or the ones that haven't grown or my pumpkin vines and the grass that is mowed on the lawn. It all gets, get, it all gets put in the composting area that I have. Perfect, right? So then you don't have to waste anything. There's no need for wasting anything, guys. Without compost, there wouldn't be enough nutrients to support the world, and the world would become a crummy place. So use a big tomato and grow some tomatoes, and maybe you could sell them once they're nice and red. And you can compost your leftover tomatoes from the seeds. So remember, don't waste. And use tomato seeds for the good of your community to grow farm fresh meals, and the cycle will repeat itself throughout the year. Thank you for watching Tyler's Time Tunes and more. I hope this video was encouraging for you. And if it did, make sure you subscribe to my channel. We have a whole bunch of videos, and it creates endless opportunities every day. Keep at it, my friends, and see you later.